Welcome to the Internet Reloaded Berlin 2015. I'm here with Hans Herich Wick from Rook. Roche. Mm -hmm. um, could you quickly introduce yourself, what, what you do, what project you're currently working on? Yeah, sure. Um, it's a pleasure to be interviewed by you. And actually, what I'm doing is I'm working with the internal digital media uh, team at Roche. Um, we are trying to establish and uh, let's say first work on it, later establish a digital strategy for the whole company, um, making sure to include all digital media, not just intranets, mm -hmm. um, into one common uh, out-of-the-box, let's say, set of tools and features and functionalities. Myself, I'm something like a community relations manager, mm -hmm. uh, working with our communi uh, community of uh, five, six, seven hundred uh, intranet owners out there in the world. Um, traveling a bit, not too much, <laughs> but using all kinds of electronic media to interact mm -hmm. with them. And doing that since about 10, 12 years. Uh, most of them know me already. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're the bridge, let's say, uh, within, within the project. Well, yeah, kind of bridge to the business. I mean, I'm obviously not working alone, especially not in this phase when we roll out um, our new project to the, to the whole community. There's a whole team working on that. But typically, I'm kind of doing the organizations of larger events, of uh, supporting people, of providing training materials. These, these little things um, uh, that keep the people outside happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been nominated for the, for the Internet Awards mm -hmm. in two categories. Congratulations on that, Thanks first of all. And could you, could you introduce us to, to, to the topic, to what we're going to see in the, the two videos tonight? I can give it a try to do <laughs> it in a few words. Well, actually, uh, we are trying to, um, let's say, fix something that struck us um, in the early years of this decade. Around 2010-11, we realized that our intranet had simply become unmanageable. Um, too complex, about 150, 200 countries about another 200 global functions driving their own intranets on more or less um, a standardized policy, but everybody totally creative as people are. Um, the, pro uh, the major problem were uh, two things. One is a lot of good but very isolated solutions. Mm -hmm. The other is a lot of uh, platforms that were totally in or let's say mostly incompatible to each other. And the goal of our project actually was to solve these two problems. One, one thing to make sure that we can consolidate and centralize the um, technical platforms to one common platform for mm -hmm. all. And that was kind of an add-on task to ruin as many creative solutions in the outside uh, as possible. Because, I mean, um, standardi standardizing, consolidating stuff is always, let's say, a big challenge and always tends to um, kill uh, creative ideas that someone has had mm -hmm. out there. Uh, on the other hand, if these creative ideas don't fit to the rest of the world, they have a problem. The other thing was providing a personalized workplace for everybody. And that is something that, let's say, our group communications um, head um, has had as, let's say, as a vision. Um, we try to provide everybody with a real workplace where you can do everything on. It's not just consuming information. It's not just reading news. Mm -hmm. It's really working with tools, working with uh, services, um, interacting with peers, with their own management, connecting to the typical big portals that HR and and um, all the other large organizations like IT or, or finance use. Make sure that people can do that from their own workspace without looking for the tools, without having to uh, maintain private bookmark lists and all that stuff. This personalized uh, workplace thing is what made this change from the old, let's say, heterogeneous but locally nice intranet, what made this uh, change acceptable for the end user. Mm -hmm. And the feedback that we received is actually very good. Um, we are kind of in 50% rollout worldwide, so the amount of people working in it is already rather high. But, I mean, um, we are kind of fully active and 
We are always learning new things about features, functionalities that we may have forgotten that we need to integrate mm -hmm. later. So currently it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's fun and exciting. It's a project in the making and it's the, uh, oh, right. the mm -hmm. digital workplace at, at Roche. And okay, well then I'll maybe quickly go to, to, to what you think of what is going to be the, the, the future trends that are going to, let's say, shape internets. I think short term, it's it's not so much different than before. We try to kind of ride the te technology development waves, mm -hmm. try to introduce and implement whatever we can get hold of when we understand that it really tends to be important and, and relevant. On the other hand, we are still fighting a minority of voices that do not find intranets business critical or business important, typically um, Let's say it's an ever decreasing minority, but they are still there and mm -hmm. still um, have their voice. Um, and I mean, what we need to do, and that is very important, is make sure that these global, let's say, personalized workplaces really do what we promise uh, that they can do. Um, make sure employees can really work with them. Mm -hmm. So they need to develop in something like a dashboard or is that too passive a cockpit like environment where people really can initiate and do actions that normally they would have to go to another tool or even link to another tool really do it from the intranet and that's a challenge in itself i mean all these connections to social and uh, mm -hmm. all the stuff that is hyped today um, midterm let's say within five to ten years um, we are aware that the amount of um, digital natives in our workforce, they are closing up to 50% or so by mid of the next decade, I think. Mm -hmm. um, they are even there today. Um, and we have learned quite a bit in, in today's presentations about that. Um, different opinions, but in principle, they are, all, they are all alike. These guys come into a company with a, with a different understanding than, let's say, my generation. Um, I learned that there are processes that you can, um, let's say, make them easier by electronic means. Mm -hmm. um, these guys tick differently. They tick on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. They um, have their methods and their means to get to information. And what we really need to do, if you don't want to lose them, we need to produce something that um, kind of satisfies their needs and their understanding from a workplace. I think that's the major challenge and that will, what will keep us busy in the next 10 years. <laughs> that's good to know. Well, then I would just wish you good luck for tonight's awards and Thank all the you. best. Congratulations again. And yes, we'll see each other a bit later today. Enjoy the conference. Thank you.